Ordering numbers, lesson 3.14. We can write numbers in counting order. If a number is smaller, it will come before a larger number. 21 is smaller than 22, it comes before 22. If a number is larger, it will come after a smaller number. 24 is larger than 23, it comes after 23. If a number is in the middle of two other numbers, it is between the two other numbers. 26 is between 25 and 27. We can use a number line to help us. We can see 25 and 27 and 26 is in the middle of them. It's between them. See? We can write the number that comes after. We have 31. What number comes after 31? What's the next largest number? The next largest number is a 32. We have a 19. What number comes after 19 when we count? 19, 20. What number comes after 47 when we count? 47, 48. What number comes after 26 when we count? 26, one more would be 27, wouldn't it? What number comes after 35 when we count? 35, 36. What number comes after 58? 58 and 59, right? That's one more. What number comes after 84? One more would be 85. We can write the number that comes before. What number comes before 31 when we count? 30. It has zero ones and that has one one. So 30 comes before 31. It has one less one. See that? So what number comes before 19? What number has one less one than a nine? If you said 18, you're right. That has one less one than 19. What comes before 47? What is one less than 47? If you said 46, you're right. Six comes before seven, doesn't it? What number comes before 26? What number comes before the six? A five, so it would be 25. See, we keep the 10 and we just write the number that is one less than the ones. What number comes before 35? What number comes before five? A four, so we know it's 34. What number comes before 58? What number comes before eight? A seven, so it would be a 57. See, those are the numbers that come before. Now we can also write the number that comes between. When we count, what comes between a 28 and a 30? When we count, we say 28, 29, 30, right? What comes in between 16 and 18? 16, there's six ones. We need seven ones and then eight ones, right? So we're gonna have a 17. What number comes between 44 and 46. We have four ones, we have six ones. So the one that would be missing it would have five ones and they all have four tens, so it'd be 45. What number comes between a 23 and a 25? What's the missing number? 23, 
24, 25. What number comes between 32 and 34? What number comes between 2 and 4? A 3. And they all have 3 tens, so it's going to be a 33. What number comes between 55 and 57? What number comes between a 5 and a 7? A 6. And they all have 5 tens, so it's going to be 56. All right, let's try some problem solving. Bob baked more than 34 cookies, but fewer than 36. So how many cookies did Bob bake? So think, we need to find a number that is more than 34 and less than 36. It's going to come between 34 and 36. Can you figure out the missing number? This has four ones, this has six ones. If you said 35, you're right. When we count, we say 34, 35, 36. Now let's see if you can figure this one out. Now, Emma read one book this week. So now she's read 19 books. How many books did she read before this week? So she read one book this week and now the total is 19. So how many did she read before this week? So we think we need to find how many books she read, not counting the books she read this week. So if we took this one away, 19 total minus the one she read this week, that would be 19 minus 1, wouldn't it? Do you know what 19 minus 1 is? If we take 1 away from the 19, we'd have 18, wouldn't we? And the number that comes before 19 is 18. She read 18 books, she read one book this week, and now she read 19 books. Okay? So that's putting numbers in order. We can put them after, we can put them before, and we can put them in between. And we can use counters and a number line to help us if we need it. Okay? I'll see you next video. Bye.